who is Sibylle Kunz. So in person, it's me, and I'm uh, the owner of Sibylle Kunz Estate. I started uh, the wine estate Sibylle Kunz in uh, 1984. And then later, I decided after these studies to take over the very small, tiny wine estate from my parents. At this time, it was 1.5 hectares. This was in 1990 when I decided to go full time in the wine estate. So it was not certified at this time, but I wanted to start uh, organic from the beginning. We started in 19, no, in 2010 to get certified organic because uh, a lot of sommeliers worldwide ask us, so are you, uh, you are working organic? And we said yes, but, but they always ask for the stamp on the back label, so they need the, the proof that it's really true. We knew then that we can manage to, to work organic on the steep slopes in the winter because this is not easy to, to mow everything with the hand and then we, we should go to the next step and this was to go Demeter and because this is for me the highest um, level on working bio or organic. How would you describe your philosophy and style of winemaking? So for me it's very pure and uh, direct, we don't use any additives. So it's uh, fermented with indigenous yeast. So uh, everything it's doing by nature. And um, the most work is in the vineyard and during the whole year from the pruning, tying, etc. And when we harvest, our quality is 90% in the cellar, in the tank. So we have not much to do in the cellar, so the most work is outside. And this is also the biodynamic process to, to do the handwork, to protect the vines, uh, and then there is not much to correct. The people are wondering why we work so hard uh, with our hands. A hundred years ago, uh, all, the, all the wines were made uh, biodynamic because they had no, no uh, artificial fertilizer and then, then. So this is just uh, the, to go back to the normal way to make wine and to work with nature. So, and for example, on the Mosel, we have only four or five uh, wine estates who work biodynamic and this is nothing. So in, in Germany, they, we have 70 uh, wine estates. They work uh, biodynamic. In, in France, okay, they have a lot more hectare. They have a uh, thousand uh, estates. They work biodynamic. And for them, it's, it's um, already more normal. So in Germany, it's, it's more new. Why, why is Riesling such a great variety, you think? I think this is the coming uh, variety worldwide. So uh, after Chardonnay, uh, the people are tired of Chardonnay, I think, and uh, Riesling is refreshing. Riesling has had the acidity and it's a pure grape variety. Tell us about the uh, Mosel and the uh, Lisser. So it's a perfect uh, location for, for wine, the steep slopes on the river and also the reflection from the river. It works like a mirror and uh, the slates uh, take the heat from the day and can give it uh, to, to the vines also in the nights. And our vineyards are, are up to 70% inclined, so it's very steep. For me, it's the best uh, location to make Riesling. So Riesling is Mosel and Mosel is Riesling. Sweden has played a part in the development of your orange wine. Yeah, we started um, in 2015. So our vineyard manager, Matthias, he asked us if he can, we can do together with him an orange wine. And we said, yes, we can do it, but we had, we had tasted so, so, so strange orange, orange wines, but okay, why not? We, we do it together and we learn 
you you learn and so we do it together. Then at the beginning we had uh, only one barrique uh, of orange wines and then uh, Tommy Lind, our uh, importer at this time, uh, came and visited us and we told him we have done, uh, we try now an orange, first barrel, and he said, ah, oh, orange in, uh, in Sweden, it's hip. And then um, he asked, asked uh, if he can take three uh, bottles of uh, barrel samples. He said, yes, why not? And one week he called us and he said, I take the whole barrel. Since this time, we had doubled or tripled the production every year. So it's, now it's not in Sweden. It's in Norway, in Finland, in Switzerland, America, uh, Atlanta, everywhere they want to, to have it. So it's, it's a full success. So this is the orange Riesling. We colored the, the label like the ripeness level from the grapes. This is the green one. The berries are still a little bit greener. So, and the taste, it's like uh, green fruits, apple, uh, the next step for, for the cabinet. Here, this is very mineral in taste. And this uh, Spätlese, it's from the oldest vineyards, up to 100 years old. And um, this is our best dry Riesling. Uh, you are married to Markus Riedlin. Yes. Uh, and you are business partners as well. Who does what in your business? He uh, went to America after his uh, studies uh, enology in Geisenheim. And he, uh, when he came back uh, eight years later, and he, he had the same uh, new or uh, clean thinking about winemaking. And um, uh, yeah, we had the same level on, on how to do it, how to work together and we had no problems. So it was not a fight, I like the wine in this way and this way. So we, we worked super together. Who is the boss now? Um, sometimes he, sometimes me. A little bit often me, I think. Vintage <laughs> 2015. So this is, this is the organic. 